Welcome to Road to Platinum, the time attack video guide for Initial D Arcade Stage 8. This video will cover how to platinum Akagi Downhill. Akagi is a great course for those who wish to learn the more faster paced courses in Initial D. Akagi features multiple hairpins in high, mid, and slow speed variants that test your footwork and wheelwork. Akagi is the fourth course in the game and one of moderate difficulty. Here is the breakdown of the course. Section 1 features a high speed hairpin into a hectic 7 corner gauntlet. Section 2 is rather steady with a single hairpin. Section 3 features the Akagi V turn and a number of hairpins. And Section 4 ends with a consecutive hairpin segment. The specialist cutoff time is 2 minutes and 33 seconds, while the platinum cutoff time is 2 minutes and 45 seconds. The course card for the downhill route is the Mazda RX7 FC3S. Platinum rank can be achieved by any car, given it's at least X spec. This run will be played by guest player Takashi with the Mazda RX-7 FC. Similar techniques apply to 6-speed manual as well as automatic transmission. Akagi starts with a long straightaway, shift up to your highest gear as quickly as possible. As you approach and enter the first hairpin, shift down to 4. Here the player brake cancels 6 times and locks the wheel left. As he exits, he immediately shifts back up. The course widens on the incoming right, so you have more room than usual to hug the wall. Gas off if necessary. Now comes the 7 corner gauntlet. First corner, the player brake cancels 3 times and gasses off. Once he has a good exit angle, he gasses back on. He shifts down to 4, brakes and gasses off into the second corner. Upon exiting, he brake cancels 4 times into the third corner. His exit speed is a bit low, so he shifts down to 3 and right back up to 4. For the fourth corner, the player brake cancels 5 times, gasses off, and locks the wheel left. For the fifth corner, he locks the wheel right, gasses off, locks the wheel left, brake cancels 4 times into the sixth corner, locks the wheel right, and gasses off. He shifts up before the seventh corner, brake cancels 4 times, locks left, and gasses off. Here is that section again in full speed. Even for Takashi who specializes in Akagi, this was a very clean run. Here is an alternative, slower but easier take on the first section. The wheelwork is similar, but much of the section is taken in 3rd and 4th gear. This was done with the Toyota Chirano 2-door AE86. Try to aim for a first section time of under 47 seconds, and again, minimize hitting the walls at all costs. Once you get past the first section, the rest of Akagi is pretty straightforward. Back to Takashi's run. On the incoming hairpin, lock the wheel left to clear the first portion, then brake cancel three times, lock the wheel right, and gas off to clear the subsequent hairpin. For this hairpin and the rest of the high speed hairpins in Akagi, 6 speed users can benefit from entering in 5th gear and exiting in 6th. For the incoming winding segment, do your best to keep a good line. Takashi makes this look easy, but gas off to maintain your line. As you exit the corner before the Akagi V turn, shift down to 3rd. You should be passing the checkpoint in 3rd gear. The player brake cancels 4 times and locks the wheel right and gasses off. I would recommend keeping gas off until you've cleared the hairpin and found your exit line. The road widens on the incoming left, so you can hug the left wall more so than usual. While in 5th gear, the player brake cancels 4 times for the next hairpin. For the double hairpin segment, he brake cancels 5 times for the first hairpin, and twice for the second. For the single upcoming hairpin, he brake cancels 4 times.
For the consecutive hairpin segment, the player brake cancels around four times for each hairpin, and controls the drift with the wheel. If you have trouble with this segment, flutter the gas after brake cancelling and use the wheel to maintain your line. These hairpins are not as sharp as the previous ones, so once you see your exit line you can gas on. Just be sure to brake cancel in time for the next hairpin. Lock the wheel right and gas off for the second to last corner, and gas off and lock left for the last corner. Cross the finish line and that's Akagi downhill. Takashi only hit one wall and still managed to finish over 7 seconds underneath the platinum cutoff. Even for himself, who specializes in Akagi, this was a very fast time, and actually would be a top 10 time on the machine he played on. Don't be discouraged if you can't emulate a run like this. Instead, use this as a best case scenario for your run. And as always, experiment with your technique and discover what works best for you.